Well, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We are heading to the back for that interview with Nathan, Nathan Whiteside. So, but what two matches the hard work Corey has put in has granted him and Eddie back. Well, but first off, before we have that interview with Nathan Whiteside, we are going to have Blavis with the TV title entering as well. This has so much that could potentially happen with that. But, this, Blavis has arrived, so someone might try and jump him early in the match before that the championship is defended in the ladder match. So, but first we're going to head to that interview with Nathan Whiteside. My guess at this time, Nathan Whiteside. Thank you for having me. Now, we know you've been working incredibly hard to get back to ring shape. How do you feel today? Well, I've done the best I could. Am I ready? After the butterflies res uh, relax, then hell yeah. I'll put up or shut up time. I will get my belt back one way or the other. I got my head on my head straight, type my fans in my corner, and my game plan drawn out. Now it's time to execute. If we can keep that forward momentum going, then I'll have my gold back soon. Then later. Okay, thanks for your time. So Nathan, now let's head back to ringside. So Nathan, very confident in his abilities. As soon as the butterflies come, he's, as he says, as soon as the butterflies subside, his head is uh, in the game, his head's on straight, he's got his fans in his corner, and soon he'll have his gold back. So, it's going to be interesting to see if Nathan is able to, as he said, put up or shut up. But our next match is going to be for the TV title ladder match. So nobody's got time to try and take on Blavis right away because everybody has to try and deal with that belt. But interesting enough, the way this match came about was very interesting. We know that Blavis was able to defeat 13 and take the TV title. The very next week, when he entered, he started doing things not normal. Like he, uh, nobody was challenging him. Literally, Blavis was jumping everybody, their neighbor, and their third cousin twice removed. And taking everybody out didn't mean if you were a, you were a star or talent, staff in the back. It didn't matter. He was making sure that that gold stayed around his waist. So, but the thing he did mistake was that he took out several staff members worried about him getting jumped. So, as par as Mr. Slane had said that those actions unbecoming of a champion this match was thrown back together and the ones he took out had a free shot to take him in this ladder match we know a couple qualified for this match however some of them on principle alone got thrown in this match, so they can get a little bit of reputa a reputation against Blavis for his actions unbeknowing, unprofessionally of a champion, so. But logically, it's not a bad bet when he started taking people out, but he, the people he took out was what the problem is. Because he took out all the wrestlers? Sure. But taking out innocent civilians and or staff members became problematic. So Blavis is going to answer one way or another. One of the people that qualified for this match is Jesse. 
stands for you. He's one of the few that has been in the FSCW for a great deal. He was one of the originals. When we first started this venture, venture almost three years ago now. Jesse hasn't won much here. He's had some fantastic matches, but he has nothing to concrete his legacy. So, so his best option is to try and start making a name for himself now. He sat in the back, paid his dues, and now he is trying to become the, one of the elites in the FSC Dome. So Jesse has trying to rewrite his history of his entire time here. And one of the men he, uh, that advanced was a Dean. And he was one of the ones that got attacked. However, he did beat 4X. And Blavis just target a Dean to try and take his ass out. So, a Dean trying to get a little revenge. And how sweet it could be of taking Blavis' belt. And potentially fighting him and beating him to death with it. Because... After a hard growing match between Adin and 4X to get just teed off with the title of the back of the head, that's uh, just asking for an ass beating. So Adin might look right after and immediately go right after Blavis and try and take his stupid ass out of the picture. So turnabout's fair play. But you cross one guy and you're going to potentially play with fire and you will get burned. And a dean will drop bombs on your head through a table because of you being an idiot. So, multiple storylines heading into this thing. Some people have issues with Blavis. Some maybe will be used as a bluff card. And every while everybody else is distracted with Blavis, might sneak in the back door and take the belt. We saw how that worked with Corey last match. So, Dr. Cox. One of the ones that attempted to try and take out 13, but was null and void. So, Dr. Cox, Cox qualified for this match. So, he hasn't done much. He's been the um, doctor for the FSCW, and they were short a man, so they threw in Dr. Cox with that qualifier match, because... The other person that had called needed to work or needed somebody to work with. So, Dr. Cox went in there and surprisingly, Dr. Cox beat him. So, I get Dr. Cox doesn't want to be here, but at the same opportunity, why not? Because he, of all people, knows every weakness or injuries of the talent. So there is a little bit of uh, secret, like, how everybody else needs to watch tape. Dr. Cox doesn't need that because he works with all the superstars with their injuries so far. So he will take advantage of that at any point. And potentially might get himself gold, but he's more concerned as... Uh, and Colin and Tony probably has uh, the most to gripe. He was the winner of the FSCW TV title tournament. And in his first defense, before he could even defend, he was jumped and taken out by Crazy Mike. And later that mat, later that night, Tony tried getting revenge on Mike for taking his belt, but was unsuccessful. So Tony 
wants his title back. And he'll do anything he can do to make sure it freaking happens. He's got no problem going off. How hard he feet needs to happen, he wants that title back. He didn't get time to enjoy it, so he's going to make sure he wants it back. So, Tony, another one that has a bunch to gain, but also has issues with everybody in the ring except Dr. Cox. So. And finally, the one with the biggest issues is Shane. And he's bringing the title down to the ring because he's had issues. He wants to be that guy. So he literally stole that from Blavis in his locker room. Shane wants to be, to leave his mark. He wants the spotlight on him. So, playing mind games with Blavis. And you can hear Blavis over here yelling, hey, what's that doing that? And they're going to put that up in the suitcase as he's going to bring it down to the ring. So, But Shane has told everybody and put everybody on notice. I am the best in the FSCW. I've eliminated the most of the Rumble. I've beaten the shit out of everybody that's coming my way. He has the most to gain. So Tony and Jess is going to pair off. That was an interesting fight back in there. Shane is going to go after Adina and Blavis is going to go after Dr. Cox. So Adina's going to take out. Tony's going to get thrown into the mix, but there, but Adina's going to jump out, grab a ladder. And Adin's going to toss the ladder in. Flipping Senton's going to go on Blavis. So Dr. Cox is keeping Blavis busy. Adin might come in the back door, but no. But Shane going to come springboard in and then going to eat a ladder to the face. Adin takes out Shane and then immediately goes up top. Adin's going up top, but he's nowhere in there. Adin's got it right now. But oh, Adin's in a bad place. And oh god, Shane grabs him and power bombs him down to the ground. A Dean eats that power bomb and immediately goes back up top. How is he even doing that? But Shane's gonna get him off, and Blavis is gonna send a, a Dean back down to the ground. Tony's got Jesse in the corner, gonna hit a superplex off the middle of the rope. Tony and Jesse pair off. Shane and Dr. Cox pair off. Shane gonna hit that split legs slam. Tony's gonna hit that. Tony grabs a ladder. Tony's gonna go up top while everybody else is occupied, but Adin's right there. Jesse's right there as well. Jesse and Tony gonna fight up top. Jesse is exchanging shots. Jesse is gonna smash Tony's face on the top of the ladder. Tony's stunned, and Jesse gets up, and Tony's going to grab the ring. But Blavis is going to catch him, and Tony's stunned again, and Bl so Jesse going to powerbomb him off the top. Jesse going up top now. And Dr. Cox is going to get in the way of Jesse, and Dr. Cox is in the uppercuts, and Jesse going to get vertical suplex off the ladder into the top. Tony gets thrown into the corner. Shane's going up top. Shane's got the belt. Adin cuts him off. Blavis is going to send Shane tumbling down. And oh, God. They broke the one ladder. Shane has broken the other ladder. Blavis. He's got the ladder inside. They've broken one of the ladders. Adin going to throw the ladder down because it's not the place. They're down one ladder. We've never seen that before, and though there's, they just threw a second one in there. Tony Shinbreaker's uh, Blavis. Adin's got the ladder now. Shane gets thrown in the corner. 
Adin gonna try and get it while everybody else is distracted. Adin's going back up top. And Dean's got the title, but oh god! Hits the ladder, but Dean's got the title! A Dean is a new TV title holder! A Dean grabbed the title and then got knocked out. And the downward force has put a Dean forward. And a Dean is going to leave Lavis. A Dean is the new TV title champion. What a match. And our cameras are going in the back right now. So what else do we have coming up? But what a match. So many opportunities and yet so little time and who is next? Oh, we have Radiance. She is making her way to the ring now. She's got a long match ahead of her as well. So our next match up will be our tag team champion match. The winner of that will win it for their tag team and become the new tag team champions. We have saw the belt change hands already. We saw cash-ins where opportunities will be plentiful. But all kinds of actions so far here on the Stairway to Glory pay-per-view. We want to thank you again for joining us here on the FSCW while pre-flight is off this week. But is a proud sponsor of this and being presented by pre-flight. So a lot of work going into stuff and we're hoping everybody at home is enjoying themselves as well. We got lots of competition going on. Lots of great moments. And potentially all kinds of new options are going to come there. So many. These ladder matches give so many options for things that can happen. We saw one thing. They broke a ladder. We haven't seen that yet. And Shane had a shot and got knocked out. So Shane is not going to be a happy camper. But first up is going to be the self-proclaimed nerds, Frankie. Frankie representing nerds for him and Crazy Mike. Trying to give them a championship berth. So that leaves that option there. There's Frankie and Mike have never been tag team champions. They've they've tried fighting for it, but have always came up short. And we have Hoss fight coming up next. We saw Foster last week just clear the ring of people that led the pathway for Haas to claim his first tag team champion title. And we know him and his partner had issues, but they uh, solved their issues by beating the hell out of each other in the ring. So now we'll see how it goes. Hoss and Foster. The, there's the brutal duel. Of just pain and misery. So Haas has an opportunity here. He's been busy the last couple weeks.
So it was just so many stuff. A lot of these teams haven't had the taste of gold yet. And the returning Sumo Shiderman has gotten the test to try and win for his team of Mr. Kirk Ashanti and the Sumo. The Sumo just returned two weeks ago. And he came with, back with devastating revile. So he's able to get right back into it. He was a immovable object when he first debuted. Then he uh, went back to his homeland, retrained, reworked, and now he's back. The sumo leaving, attempting to leave his mark for his return, which if they wins, then that's one hell of a return. Brand new tag team champions, but he's got to get through five other dudes and very strong tag teams to begin with. And we have, and next up, we have Sam Knight, who joined us last week on commentary. And he wanted some gold, finally. And he's put the work in. He's been in the league for a great deal of years. He just, he's been in the FSCW for a time now, but his career expands decades. So Sam, you can see the scars of, on his face are a road map of where he's been. The teacher of hardcore is trying to get some gold around his waist, finally. And what better to do it with him and the dirtiest player of the, in the league, former FSCW Heavyweight Championship, Don Haddix. Sam is just going to try and take out names. The straight aggression that Sam Knight is, is just remarkable. Well, like I said, his career expands decades. And he's only been here a short time in the FSCW, but he's making marks, leaving bodies implanted all over the wrestling mat, so. Next up is William Whiteside, former tag champion, former FSCW heavyweight champion. He was thrown together with Jeff Henderson because his normal tag team partner, Nathan Whiteside, is dealing with Dre uh, Grayson. So William wanted a championship shot. He got thrown together with Jeff. So it's going to be interesting to see how these two, these two, this random team that got thrown together has been, showed some interesting stuff because we saw a couple weeks ago they qualified for this match. And to any everybody's uh, a sh a shock and awe, he was able to work together with Jeff. So that's going to be a very interesting 
combination there. And we have finally rounding out there the current tag team champion with 13 unlucky. 13's been causing havoc in the TV title division. And he got blistered last week, but the Guardian is here and trying to keep his tag team belt. So it will be interesting to see if 13, uh, if Guardian can hold on and keep the undefeated streak alive for Unlucky. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Sam immediately goes after um, Haas. Guardian goes after Frankie. And Will is going to take a breather outside. Let everybody else kill each other. There, Sumo grabs a ladder. Will is standing in the back there. Sumo sets the ladder up outside. I don't know why, but Sam is going to throw the ladder in and clip Haas in the shoulder. Then follow by punching him in the face with it. Sumo is going to grab it from Sam, and Sam's going to, Sumo's going to set it up, and Guardian immediately goes after it, trying to make this match quick, but Will's right there to block him, but gets Frankie, gets intercepted, Frankie dumps it, Frankie goes a minute after Will, driving him down to the ground, Sam and Sumo going at it, Haas grabs the ladder, not in a happy mood, and starts swinging for the fences because... He just took it to the face. Guardian's gonna dive outside. Haas is going up top. Guardian's got another ladder, and Will is gonna get knocked down, knocked into the ladder, and Haas is gonna come tumbling down. Guardian and Haas hook up. Williams going after Frankie. Hits a suplex on Frankie. Shumo throws Sam Knight in there. Big shoulder block on Haas, on Guardian. Sam's going after right back on Haas. Sam gonna hit that teardrop suplex on Haas, Guardian Sumo, and Sumo comes up with that European, that uppercut, face busters uh, Guardian. Frankie puts a ladder up, Sam puts a ladder up. And they can't block it because they've cut each other off. Sumo's in the center and Sumo's gonna get the ladder out of the way. You're gonna drop it into Sam and Haas. Guardian's gonna dump Shane over to uh, there. William and Frankie on tee up. Sam and ha Haas take it outside. Haas gets drove through the steps. William grabs a ladder, tees off on Frankie. William's putting a ladder down. William clearing all the people out. William's going up top, but Guardian's right there. They're gonna try and cut him off, but Frankie's gonna right there and intercept him once again. And the one ladder gets chucked out of the ring. Guardian and Sumo go off and call their Will is alone right now. Guardian throws Sumo into the corner. Will dives outside. Frankie's there. Guardian's after Sumo right now. Sam and uh, Haas are going up in the corner. Frankie and Will had her there and they're beating the absolute hell out of each other right now. Guardian's going to throw Sumo into the corner and hit a close, uh, that big shoulder block. Sam's back in the ring, going to try and go after uh, Haas, and there we go outside. Guardian brings in some steps. Will get thrown back in there. Guardian goes outside. William going after Frankie. Sumo and Guardian on the outside. They're deciding to beat the hell out of each other right now. Because all these tag teams have so much to gain. And they're literally in there, and William gets driven through the barricade. Frankie. Picks him up, and Sam double barricades down. Guardian going to put ladder. Frankie's back in the ring. Sam and Haas are up there, and we will be right back here, ladies and gentlemen.